Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario RPG. I am the Max of Few Trades. In the last part, we fought a cake and got Princess Peach as a ally in our never-ending quest to save the world, apparently. And I completely forgot that I got this amulet thing a little while ago and I figured I'd give it to her, because apparently it's a great item but smells terrible. I figure her good smell will negate the bad smell and everyone will be happy on the group and that's just great. Now here we are in Toadpill Pond because Mallow suggested we go talk to his grandfather again because he's just so dang smart being a frog and everything. You know, frogs know everything, that's why freaking Slippy is a mechanic. He knows everything there is to know about everything. I have the latest news, children. A log star has been sighted on Star Hill. Is that it? Okay. Then I guess we're going to- I was kind of expecting some kind of big scene or something. Okay. Well, whatever, let's leave. <laughs> I was all prepared for something a far bit more grand than that. Um, let's see, Star Hill, is that somewhere over yonder? Yes, okay, I guess I did need to talk to him, so whatever, to Star Hill. This, this seems like a good place, kind of, oh, hello, this looks a lot like, uh, Shooting Star Summit. Neat. What's this? It is nothing. Okay. Weird. Looks like something. And a thing. No? Okay. Weird. These things look like they're things. To marry more. Talk to the flower, and the stargate will open. Okay. Oh! Well, that's kind of neat. But why would I want to go to marry more? Okay. Apparently that- Oh! That's the exit. Ah, well, there we go. Okay. Uh, to Star Hill. Okay, okay, I understand now. Whatever, moving on. Very odd. Oh, hey, Gino. This is Star Hill. Wishes which were transformed at the Star Road fall from here. But some wishes that haven't been granted yet are falling because Smithy destroyed the Star Road. Frogfucius mentioned hearing about a star piece on this hill. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, and I see a groundhog and a chameleon. I want to fight them! Alright, whoa, hello. It's another one of those little bandit -y guys, except this one's blue. Throw the chump! Alright, let's see if- oh, hey, Peach's pretty good defense, at least if that's any indication. Let's see how Peach is in a standard battle. You know what I never noticed? I, I, I never actually checked Bowser to see his special moves. Let's see, therapy? I don't know what that does. I'm gonna assume maybe healing and group hug. I doesn't really explain exactly what it is, so I guess I'll just not use it right now. Slap slap! Well, that's just bad. Oh, and he ran away because he got slapped silly by Princess Peach. He should be ashamed of his stupid face. Uh, this star has a smiley face. Why is it smiling at me? Wish I had some cricket jam. Okay. Are these wishes? Wishes of which to wish? I hope my baby's cute. Well, too bad. I predict your baby will become very ugly. And will die very shortly after and become a gigantic ghost, of which Luigi will be forced to save. And there's a groundhog thingy. I like him. I want to touch. I want to pet the- Whoa, hello. What is this? Okay, hang on. Special. Terrorize. Okay, what is terrorize? Rotate control pad. Okay. Huh. That was kind of neat. Rather just throw a chain chop at someone's face, but you know, for what that was, it wasn't bad. Slap the gopher! The slapping the gopher was ineffective. Ha <laughs> ha! That was adorable. It just kind of flailed its little arms at her. Oh, that's cute. It's a muka muka or something or something. I didn't actually read that. I just got like a brief second to look at that. Well, lucky. Not sure what that means, but whatever. Ah, hey, migraine. That did absolutely nothing. Okay. Oh, want to double your coins? Challenge the system, win bingo, lose it all. All right, find Yoshi and win. Where's Yoshi? Yoshi here? Yeah! Woo! 28 coins, I am good with that. All right, now what's this all about? Can't wait to start a family. Well, you should, because it's a terrible idea. Let's see, what about this guy? I wish I weren't such a crybaby. This one's private! What do you think you are spying on people's wishes? Come on, our quest for the star piece is important. Everyone's getting us. We gotta hurry. Well. Sorry about that. It's just that I'm embarrassed about my wish. Oh, that's cool, bro. You didn't have to freaking freak out on me, though. That was highly unnecessary. Bandits! They ran away before I really had a chance to do anything. Weird. Anyway, more chameleons! 
Level up! Gino, despite having absolutely no battle experience whatsoever, has decided to level up! Alright, we'll get some more health, why don't ya? Alright, well that was pretty cool. I will attempt to try and use Gino and Mallow more often, but so far I'm kind of digging my lineup of Mario, Bowser, and Peach. But that's just me. What do I know? I'm just playing the game. Anyway, more gophers! I see you there. I choose to ignore you. And did that open the door? There we go. Don't know why I had to touch so many of those dang stars. Moving on! A new floor. What's this wish? If I could just get that melody. Oh, that must be Todovsky or Todovinsky. I don't know his name. I didn't really care to listen. Who are this? The hunger. Oh, for some food. That probably was Baloom or something. That guy kind of liked to eat stuff, apparently. Let's see. And be Okay, thief. Okie dokie. Pushing more buttons. I want to be a, a wild class baker. I like. Okay, so pretty much it seems like every single one of these stars is from someone we've talked to. That's actually kind of amazingly awesome. Oh, wait, I've already touched that one. Uh, here we go. More of these. I'm not really talking to the stars so much as I am just kind of looking at them and then they light up. That's kind of funny. I want to be the best treasure hunter in the world. Not sure who that was, but I'm sure it was somebody. Touch more things. Please let Mallow find his way home. What? Wait, well, this wish is. It's from my mom and dad. They're wishing for me to come home. Sniffle. This isn't the time to be crying. They're waiting for me to come home. Come on, Mario. We've got a busy schedule to keep. I'll make you eat dust if you don't hurry. You know, there's a very real possibility that was actually just, uh, Frog Fucius, you know, just wishing that Mallow finds his way home. You, you don't really know that was your parents, dude. I'm just, I'm just saying. Holy, what the banana snap? What the hell is the Whoa! A Master Doom! What in hell is this thing doing here? I, that is terrifying! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, well, that was uh, something. Why does that exist, much less in an area that looks a lot like heaven? That seems like the exact opposite place that that, that thing should probably be hanging out. Okay, anyway. Uh, best treasure in the world, already read that one. Push this. Something opened, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess this door, but that wouldn't make any sense. Was there another door? I'm pretty sure I, that's the way back, isn't it? I'm going to take a look around. I actually kind of really dig the way this area looks. It's, it's very spacey, I like it. Well, no one just had to play on the class baker thing again. Uh, anything over here? Oh, get out of my way. Uh, I guess that is the only door. Um. Okay. Kind of confusing. Am I back where I started? I think I am. Let me see. Wanna be, I want to be a great plumber like my brother Mario. It's Luigi! Where are you, Luigi? Join our epic quest. That would be so boss. I mean, granted, you'd probably be very similar to Mario, but, you know, more help than Mary, or I ain't gonna have a problem with it. Hello! Oh, well, that was starting... Start... That was surprisingly easy to find. <laughs> I can't say starting ling 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 Okay. Shutting up now. That was by far the easiest star piece to obtain so far. <laughs> Didn't even have to fight anybody for it. Oh, okay. Oh. You've come a long way, but your journey's not over yet. There are three more star pieces. Yay! Okay. Uh, now I just need to get the have a loving hell out of here. I hope I become famous. Okay. Wish I could run faster. Ho hum. Anyway, more gophers. You know what? Death to gopher! All right, now that that gopher has been successfully murdered, how do I leave? I apparently have missed one of these star plants. Looking around, where on earth am I supposed to go? I'm confuzzled. Uh, oh, there it is, okay. Uh, how do I, there we go. 
Oh, this place is kind of confusing to navigate, I'm not gonna lie. And, okay, I guess we're done here. That's a completely ra- That was like the shortest and most random place ever. Well, whatever. It really seemed like there would be more that happened there, but okay. Seaside Town, whatever. Not gonna complain. And we've got a neat little store place, uh, Seaside Town, apparently. Apparently a whole lot of stores, too. I need to buy new things! Let's see you. What's up? A star has fallen into the sea. The pirates. Probably. Um, I mean that man, uh, Jonathan Jones, probably has it. He's nasty. Um, okay. I was not really in the middle of the ocean. Is a pirate ship. You'll find a. I mean, there's a. A pirate lives there. His name is Jonathan Jones. He isn't very nice. Okay, well, it appears there's something terribly wrong inside this town. Everyone seems to be very, uh... That man is standing on top of his bookcase, uh... You okay, bro? You're collecting stars, right? Only three more to go. Why is everybody here talking like William Shatner? <laughs> That's a little odd, don't you think? Well, I guess I'll just have to join the herd. If you want to enter the ocean, jump into the whirlpools. Okay. And you? You will find the old village elder in his house. He is the most respected person here. Okay, well, I guess we'll need to go to the elder man here, because apparently nobody anywhere is going to sell me anything. Kind of lame. How about you? Okay, you are also standing on a table. This is the inn. You may stay for free. Well, okay, I guess I won't say no to that. Victory sign, and then I sleep. That man was watching me sleep! Why were you watching? Okay, that's cre- You know, no, I'm just leaving. Don't know what the deal with this place is, and I don't think I want to know. Let's just keep exploring. Uh, hi. Finally, it took you long enough. I am the elder of this village. I got to my exalted stations in life by pleasing my superiors, which is something I do well. A star has fallen into the ocean. I need it for a certain purpose. A certain porpoise, perhaps. You must find it for me. Um, actually, I kind of need it for more important stuff than whatever it is uh, you want. And that is a frog! Hello. Oh, I accidentally pushed the menu button. Talk to the frog. Hello there. You're Mario, right? Do you remember me? We met at Tadpole Pond when I was still a tadpole. I've graduated from Frog Fuse's school, and now I'm searching for the meaning of life. Well, that's quite the ambitious project for a little frog man. It's been so quiet around here, it's almost eerie. Is something going on? I really have absolutely no clue, dude. It probably doesn't concern me, but if you have any frog coins, I've got some neat items to sell. Oh, do you now? Let's say you have a see ya. Allows you to run away from battles. Well, I can do that anyway. Use it to start a battle over. That's kind of cool. Experience. Devil's experience when equipped. That sounds very useful. I think I want that. Doubles the coins you win in battle. Cuts F- Cuts FP you use in death. Well! I need to go find me some more frog coins. Now don't I? <laughs> wow, the stuff in, in Tadpole Pond was absolutely useless, but this stuff's amazing. Okay, uh... Hello! You may not enter here. This is a restricted area. There's nothing of interest here. Don't bother looking inside. Well, that's not ominous. Is our back door? There is not. Can I do absolutely nothing in this town whatsoever? I can't buy gear, I get stared at while I'm sleeping by a guy in the inn. The mayor seems really kind of spooky, don't really care for that. Um, guess I'm just leaving. Oh wait, there's a passageway, okay. Uh, is there anything over here? I am confused. Is there somewhere else I can go? Am, am I not supposed to be here? What 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 is the deal? Oh. Okay. <laughs> what about, oh. So I'm just at the bottom of the sea like that? Well, that was surprisingly easy. Oh, hello, mister. You look like a black mage. Been a while since people came around here. And you are a star. Hey, oh, weapons. I'm good with this. Okay, we have 
the Hurley Gloves for Bowser, apparently, the Super Hammer for Mario, the Handgun for Gino, the Womp Glove for Mello. Wait, don't I already have those things? Don't I already have a handgun and a... Hang on, I'm confused. Hang on. He has symbols and he has a finger shot. No, I guess I don't. Well, okay, whatever. And the Womp Glove. Weird, they just sounded familiar to me. And I need those stuff too. So hang on, let me equip these new things. The Super Hammer is weaker than the Masher. Okay then. <laughs> Whatever, the Chomp. Well, farewell, Chomp. You are pretty awesome, I'm gonna say. Uh, the Slap Glove, there's nothing new for Peach. But we got the Womp Gloves, and we've got the Handgun. Now let us sell us some useless weapons. We really don't need any of these things anymore, so goodbye. And let us buy a sailor shirt, sailor pants, sailor cape, and the nautical dress. Why not? Now let's get these dang things on. And still no armor for Bowser. Then again, I guess he does have that shell, so whatever. I like the sailor pants. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think sailors actually wear capes, but I'm not gonna argue. Since you shopped here, I'll tell you something interesting. This ship sank into the briny sea because a giant squid attacked it. Some people went in to survey it, but they never came back. That's not ominous at all. And it appears there are two paths to go? Yes, there is. Okay. Ooh, save lock. Always good. Budding. All right, and I see free stuff, and I can't jump over them. So I guess we're going the other way. Well, whatever. Save lock is a save lock, and that's always good. And I see starfishes. I wish to avoid the starfishes and grab this treasure first. Star! Oh, death to starfishes. Death to all the starfishes. Whoa, get up there. Kill all the starfishes before it wears off. Running! Death to enemies! Ha! Huh? Oh, now I'm glad I grabbed that starter. <laughs> wow, Mario reaches level 10. 84, 50, learn super flame. More health. Who else leveled up? Belza leveled up. 96, 93, 59, 28, 23. Get more power. And Peach leveled up. Cool. All right, more health for Peach. She looks like someone who can't really take a hit. Now let us fight the starfish properly. And a blooper. I love bloopers. All right, now what's the Hurley Gloves do? <laughs> Bowser throws Mario at him. That's awesome. I am good with this. Okay, that is an awesome idea for a weapon. Throwing your your allies at your opponents like it ain't no thing. Once again, all right, time for the double mash. Ba bang, ba boom. Or the quadruple mash since I did it four times. Hello, and another once again. No blooper stands before the might of my mighty hammer. It isn't Mjolnir, but it's pretty dang close. All right, more starfish. And Mallow levels up without fighting at all. That's quite interesting. Ooh, you learned the shocker. And get some more superpowers for you, Mr. Dude. All right, and uh, more starfish. Whoa! Are the oh, for a second, though, I thought those were Metroids. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, well, they're not Metroids, so that's, that probably fares a whole lot better for us. Although they do seem to have a whole lot of HP. That's a lot. Wow, they have a lot of HP. Go down, jellyfish. That looks a lot like a Metroid, but then again, I suppose it goes without saying. HP max. Very good. HP me. The Vero Serum. What on earth is that? Why are you dead? Oh. Um, it missed, so I suppose I don't have to care. And then that guy slapped her silly, which is odd. Uh-oh. Jellyfishes don't actually have electrical abilities, you know. It's a common misconception. And tomorrow. Bottoming! That's still amazing. So, is that a running theme in Bowser's uh, Bowser's weapons? Are they all completely and totally mind-blowingly amazing? Because so far he had his normal attack, which was cool in itself, but we did like Power Rangers pose when he slashed people. That was pretty awesome. And then he had a chain chomp that he threw at people's faces, and now he's throwing Mario all over the place. If these don't keep being completely and totally awesome, I'm going to be very, very disappointed because they've set the bar phenomenally high. Whoa! Mega Bowser! <laughs> Neat! 
Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's not actually a good thing, but it was. It sure does look cool. And once again, Mario, kill more starfishes. Nya -nya. And there we go. And 20 powers. Very good. More starfish. And all of the starfishes have been vanquished. Moving on. More water. Oh hi. Okay. Well, uh, can I leave the water? I'd like to get out of the pool. Okay, I can't get out of the pool. Okay, then I'll just go in this whirlpool. This seems like a safe idea. And I can breathe underwater. Of course I can. I'm Mario. What else would I not be able to do? Mario can breathe underwater, but not under, not in outer space. Which is weird. I got a max mushroom. Okay. Oh, I have too many. I oh, damn! I have too many items. Uh, what's enable juice? Heal status failments during battle. Okay, I'll get rid of one of the news. And just for the halibut. Uh, yeah, I should probably save these for more proper times, but I need to open up some space. 41 flower points. That should be pretty good. Is that all that was down here? Okay, whatever. Blooper fight! Get yourself! In case you're wondering why I'm so adamant on using Peach on my team, it's because if you just so happened to- Whoop! Didn't mean to do that. If you watched my Paper Mario Let's Play, and I sure hope, certainly hope you did, because I actually was kind of proud of that despite being my very first one, I made it quite clear- Whoop! That is a giant crab monster! Okay. Anyway, I made it very clear that I enjoy Princess Peach and Princess Daisy as characters and don't fully understand why people make fun of them so much when they're honestly actually really cool. Even though it's sort of like just an internet thing, they're like the worst characters ever. Why do they even exist? Oh my god! I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I like them, and I like to play as them and use them as often as I possibly can. So, since Peach is a readily usable ally in our battle for truth and justice and all that good stuff, I figure I might as well use her in this group. And that crab apparently just disabled Bowser's ability to use magic spells, which is perhaps the stupidest decision he could have ever made. <laughs> Seriously, Mario would have been a better target for that. Peach would be the ideal target for that, but no, you went after Bowser because clearly he is the head sorcerer here. I mean, granted, he has used a couple magic spells in other games, but it's made quite perfectly clear in this one that he is not a spellcaster. It is his job to throw Mario at angry blue crab people. Wow, this thing has strong defense. Slap him, silly! Only one point of damage. That's not a good sign of things to come. Bada bing! Bada boom! Okay, maybe it just needs to burn. Super flame! It's super flame, it's super frickin'. Whoa, those are giant fireballs. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah, there we go. There we go, that's. Physical attacks didn't work, so magic saved the day. Double your experience points. Sure, I'll give it the shot. Why not? Gambling is for kids. Hey, I found Yoshi. Yay! And Gio leveled up again! Alright, whatever. Get more health, Gino. Alright, is there any purpose to being underwater other than fighting bloopers? This looks like a pipe. Can I go down it? Yes, I can! That makes absolutely no sense, seeing as how that was a crow's nest, but... Whatever! There's a page from the travelogue. Let's take a look at it. Looks boring. <laughs> Alright, we're done for. A giant squid just got a hold of us. The ship's going down fast. Alright, I don't understand why there are ellipses in that writing, and it, someone apparently took the time to tack that up onto a crate. But whatever. Ghosts! They look like little tiny blue- Oh! Well, ghosts and a s skeleton hugging a tool shed. I think. I'm not quite sure what that is. I want to know what that thing is called, because it looks amazing. But first, hang on, I need to see therapy. I imagine that heals. Yes, it does. Okay, very good, very good. And death sickle. Oh no, that's the exact opposite of a popsicle. Whatever, what is this? A reacher. Well, it should be called, it shouldn't be called a reaper. It should be called, I guess, like a, a troll skeleton hugging a tool set, a tool shed. That's what it looks like to me. Feel free. To prove me wrong. Okay, granted out. Granted, it did just attempt to reach us, but it failed, so it's not a very good reacher. It should probably get a name change. As I hit it with a hammer. Good defense, eh? Well, I'll just keep slapping you. I don't give a damn. Quit reaching out on us. It's most unruly. 
Are you dead now? No, he's still not dead. Why won't you die? You're a skeleton. This shouldn't be very hard. There we go. Doesn't even have any muscle mass. How are his bones staying up? That doesn't make any sense. What's this? Ah, another page from the travel log. Let's take a look. The door to the cellar is locked with a password consisting of six letters. In order to proceed, you'll have to decipher the password using the six hints. Oh, joy! All right, I've come to the conclusion that Princess Peach is one hell of a really good healer. Whereas Mallow and Gino seem to be more offensive magic-based, and for the sake of fairness, I do believe I will switch out Bowser as much as I love him with Gino for at least a little while. I want to make sure that all of the teammates get proper use. I hate an RPG. I don't like it in RPGs that you only get to pick three out of, like, a possibility. I mean, some RPGs give you, like, nine people to play as, to construct your team with. And a new enemy, so I guess it's okay to keep talking here. <laughs> it's like, well, we've given you, like, 12 characters to pick your team out of, but you can only use three at a time. That was a lot of bullets. That was pretty cool. So, I... It always bugs me. So, whenever I play an RPG that has that sort of structure, I always make sure to, uh... To use as many of the characters as often as possible throughout the course of the game so everyone gets their fair share of screen time because i do actually despite the fact that Ma mallow and gino have never made another appearance in another mario game and this is my first real introduction to the other these characters other than the constant gino for brawl things that came where that were going around like four years ago i mean this is my real first exposure to him and i like the characters so far Although, unless Gino starts doing something fantastically amazing really soon, I have absolutely no idea why he is as popular as he is. I mean, I don't get me wrong, he seems like a really cool character. I mean, he's a puppet, possessed by an angel, trying to save the universe. That's pretty, that's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. But, like I said earlier, this is the only game he's ever been in, ever, so why people would want Nintendo to go through all the trouble with Square Enix and the blah 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 just to get this character back... I honestly don't see why, but whatever, let's try and double our experience points. However, I've been far too lucky lately, so I'm probably going to get it wrong. Yes! Called it! Who called it? I called it. That is exactly what I did. Alright, well, let's just go through this door. And more enemies! Wow! There's a whole lot of new enemies in this in this sunken ship. Oh, it's actually officially dry bones. That's pretty cool. Wow, that did a lot of damage. And yet it didn't fall down. Wow. Dry bones! They really are good at not dying, ironically. Despite the fact that they're skeletons. Odd! Whatever. Go down, you crazy skeleton man. Okay, why isn't it dying? Hang on, hang on. Let me see something here. Jump a doo! They're completely immune to physical hits. That's actually kind of neat. That's actually exactly what dry bones are. The only way you could actually kill them in the normal games is through, through like, the star power and stuff. So actually, that, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, you can keep hitting them for as long as you want, but eventually you're going to have to use magic. Makes sense. Anyway. Oh, and Bowser levels up! Okay, wow, that's a lot of health. Okay, more powerful Bowser. Wow, he almost has an attack of 100. That's pretty awesome. Let's try and avoid these things. What's over here? There's a page from the travel log. Let's take a look. Uncover the secret, of, uh, the secret of the six cents. Of course, since they're provided by different people, they'll be pretty tough to solve. Maybe impossible. Okay, well, where do I find these elusive six hints, as it were? That is a rat mod. Why so many new enemies in this level? Okay, so new r alley rats and gorgons. Again, those look a lot like pigs with bat wings. Wow. Okay. This episode's pretty much just gonna be a whole lot of talking over new enemy encounters. That's kind of odd, but whatever. I'm not going to complain with it. Oh, once again. Let's go. Kill the rat with a hammer. That's still pretty damn awesome. Pudding. Okay. Still confuses me how they're able to do that. Whoa. Okay, that was a lot of That's a lot of That's a lot of light and flare for something not all that really impressive. I mean I mean, it looks cool, but it really doesn't do all that much damage in the long run. Whatever! Bullets to the face! And mashy mashy! Okay, well, now just slap him! Kill the Gorgon thingy, my bobbers! The kill the flying mo Diamond Saws again! 
How many buzz saws am I gonna have thrown at my face during this game? Why do they keep copying each other too? Weird! And Mario is dead. Awesome. Okay, well, if you guys would like to die at some point, there we go. And Gino is brought back to full power. I could revive Mario, but at the same time, huh? Nah, I don't think so. I think Peach and Gino have got this under control. No matter how many bizarre fireball things he keeps flowing at us, what is the deal with that? You are a very confusing flying moblin. Now die at the hands of my dollish powers, which immediately sounds more threatening inside my head. The Echo Finder! Oh no! He found Gino! Whatever! That was pointless! And it's still not dead! Go down, man! There! That only took forever! And a whole bunch of... More level! Wow, this is the episode of Level Up! Alright, ooh, and Toadstool learned Sleepy Time! Oh, that's that sheep move! I've seen that! I saw that in a death battle. Peach killed Zelda because of this. That's awesome. Okay, um, get your most himself some superpowers. All right, now I'm gonna hide on top of these. Whoop! Found a flower. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Wait, did that like fully heal? Wait, oh, dang! I was hoping that would recharge everything. Shame. Okay, well, I think that's a fair amount of stuff for this episode. In the next part, I guess I'm gonna go down ratty, ratty path and. Figure out what on earth I'm even down here for. I'll see you guys then.